Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Crew, welcome back to some more The Last of Us. Here we are back where we left off in Bill's town. There is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Bill. And we have just received a new gun, a uh, the shotgun, as you can see, if I press the right buttons, if I remember what the right button is. Okay, there we go. Uh, yep, over here. We now have a hunting rifle, which we got in the last episode, or the ep no, two episodes before, I think. The shotgun, the pump shotgun, and uh, a bow, bow and arrow, of course, with the kind of like the Glock and the pistol that we got like right at the start of the game. So, yes, um, right off the bat, we are going to sort out a car for us to kind of leave with. I have already been around here and collected everything that I could. Uh, and now Bill just wants to show us something, and a nail bomb. I'm pretty sure we've seen this cutscene in the last, um, in the last video at the end. So maybe it just saved just before. But yeah, uh, I've already looked around, like back after here now, and there's nothing else to pick up. So uh, yeah, it looks like we are ready to go. So let's just increase the volume so I can actually hear the infected if they actually come close to us, and. Uh, I guess let's see what Bill has to say. And I guess we'll be heading over soon. There's actually some stuff here. Do I Can I pick this up? I can actually. Oh, this I think some stuff for um, for the thing it looks like. For the kind of nail bomb. I think it looked like some explosive or something. So, uh, yeah, okay. I don't see anything else. As I said, I did have a look around. But apparently there is more stuff. So maybe... It didn't save before, so I'm just going to have a quick look around over here, grab the rest of the stuff that we need, and we'll head uh, head off, I guess. Okay, so it looks like I have picked up everything now, and I guess we are heading upstairs. Is there anything down here? I don't really remember if this is the place that we came from or not, but it looks like... Oh, there is a plank, but I'm pretty sure we have the, yeah, the wooden kind of pry bar thing, or more like a pipe, to be honest. So, okay. We have everything now. I guess let's go up and follow Bill, and uh, I guess still keep an eye out on on, on stuff. Uh, but yeah, okay, we go in here. I guess nice place to go. this does look quite nice. So is this this camp over here or something? I'm not really too sure. It does look like he definitely uses it to eat at least and cook. Even though this doesn't, place doesn't really have a chimney, so I'm not really sure where. Uh, the smoke from that goes unless I don't know he's got like a gas stove or something but I'm not really too sure so I guess we are heading out of here I guess it makes sense because I mean you've got the high ground on all of the infected uh, so that is definitely well, a plus I guess and this does look quite nice look there's a school all right ready as we'll find out Okie dokie, I kind of forgot to turn the camera off for that kind of cutscene, but I guess we're fine. I do actually have to look up now because I moved the camera again, so it is a different place than before, before I would look at it like straight like this, but now it's up there, so uh, yes, okay. Let's turn the flashlight off because I'm not really sure if that can kind of break easier if it's on for longer. Now, I was just saying that leaving from up there is a lot nicer because you've got the high ground and everything but now we are in a very dangerous spot over here as we are seeing over here now how do we crouch like this okay okay so bill we've got any idea of what we are going to do over here oh there's an infected coming right over here it's a clicker though so it won't see us at least we'll just see the noise now we do have a brick if i know which button to press okay that's eight i guess so let's just throw it over there and then i guess we'll switch to the molotov cocktail when they all get into position and maybe we'll burn them on burn them i'm not really sure how the molotov cocktail works to be honest i haven't really used it before they are burning though which is good at least they are kind of running right towards me now so that's not really good oh we did get we did kill two in one shot, so I guess maybe this is a, a quite a good combo of the Molotov cocktail and then uh, a shotgun shell right to the face. Uh, we do hear more, though. This is a really dangerous spot, as I said. There's one... Oh, there's three that we can see for now. 
heading this way is or the I, I, I can't get my words out. Uh, at least they're all clickers, I guess. So, you know, they can't really see us, I guess. Or they can just kind of hear us. But I don't know what's scarier, them hearing us or seeing us. Especially when they somehow can get to us even... No, okay, they can't hear us, can they? Oh, he's running towards me, so he must hear something, but... I'm not really sure what that something is, but... We're fine for now. We just have to really move slowly over here and clear out each place one by one. Now, did we kill that other one? Was, yeah, I knew there was three over here. Uh, I was kind of surprised by how we only got two. Oh, there's even more, actually. So, uh, let's switch to the pistol, because they are kind of far away. Uh, is the one coming from there? There is. They can't really see us, though. Nor can they really hear us well right now. So... I guess we are wasting some ammo over here. I guess we could have, like, snuck upon them and took them out one by one. But I guess the kind of plus of guns and kind of kind of wasting the ammo, quote-unquote, whatever you want to, if you want to call it that, is we don't really need to get close to them uh, for, for us to kind of kill them, which is good because, I mean, you don't really want to uh, waste... Waste med kits. I'm not really sure what would be more valuable. The, uh, the what do you call it? The oh, they're right over there. Okay. I'm not really sure if I want to use the last one to be honest. Yeah, what would be more valuable, ammo or the med kits? You know, the the stuff that you need to make the med kits. I'm not really sure for now, but. Let's just set them on fire over here. Let them cook for a minute. And maybe they'll even kill themselves. Hopefully not going up here. Come on. You must be nearly dead. Nope. Okay. Not really sure how that's happened. But uh, I guess let's use the bow and arrow. Because uh, we haven't really used it much at all. Oh. Oh. That's not good. There we go. We took them out over there. I guess arrows are even more kind of valuable than maybe ammo because we haven't really come across too many. I guess we really haven't had the the bow and arrow for too long, but still, I mean, I've definitely picked up more ammo in the time that we've had it than than arrows. So we do have to kind of watch out for that maybe. What was that? Oh, okay. Why are we switching over there? It looked like there was some movement behind us, but there was maybe maybe that was just a bush that I saw. Um, but yeah, oh, there's even more people over here. I'm kind of, the game's lagging in and out. I'm not really sure what that's about because, I mean, it was definitely fine before. Maybe it's uh, just loading some stuff in, but it shouldn't really be lagging. So maybe that's just a problem with the game. Maybe loading in some shaders still. I'm not really too sure. Okay, I think we have a shiv. So if Bill would come with me, we could take him out silently. If he does plan on doing that. Is he going to help me? Let's just grab this guy. I guess we'll see. Uh, stealth kill. Stealth, st stealth kill. Oh, yeah. It can actually damage me when I'm holding on to him. So I actually have to kind of watch out for that. Because, uh, I wasn't expecting that. But I guess it makes sense. Let's just grab anything that they have on them. Uh, and I guess get the high ground. So there's a clicker. There was a kind of like, a, what are they called? Like runners, sprinters, whatever. Oh, Okay. Um, let's just throw out this in the open. This is still terrifying, even though we are out in the middle, uh, in the open and all of that stuff. I'm not sure it's more scary, the clickers or the runners, to be honest, because, I mean, the clickers are just, oh, not the right thing. The clickers are just, you know, scary themselves but the runners you know they've run at you is arguably even more scary than anything else oh especially oh he's actually running the other way so i'm not really sure what that's about but uh, i guess good for us luckily it's a pump shotgun so we can oh oh so we can do that very very quickly 
Uh, there's still two I see, I think. Uh, let's let's get back. There's one coming from down below. Oh, we are reloading. We haven't reloaded fully. Luckily, um, we got reloaded just in time. And that would have absolutely decimated Bill if it, the friendly fire wasn't on. He would have been dead for sure, along with probably Ellie being <laughs> gravely injured over there. But luckily, that's not the case, so um, I guess let's fully reload. Okay, I think we are fully reloaded. Can I hear another clicker? Or is that like a, a gate opening somewhere? I'm not really too sure. Is this guy cleared? Yes, okay. I guess, okay, we actually... We actually are running quite dangerously low on ammo, which is not too good. So we actually do have to watch out, I guess, be more careful than we already are. Maybe shoot up from up close when we have, like, a guaranteed kill and shot. I'm going to go around this so it doesn't, like, no fall or something. So we hear something up here, which is a clicker. There's some stuff to... There's a bottle to grab over here. Uh, we don't need to throw it yet, I think. It's right over there, though. Where is it? Is it facing this way? It's going to face that way now. Oh, I actually had two... One, maybe? No, two definitely, and it's a runner as well. I don't know if it's going to run this way. I'm not sure how, like, sporadic they are. If they just run, like wherever they kind of want to or if they are kind of more based on sound as well okay this is a way bigger house than i thought it was going to be to be honest oh there's something to grab over here what is this um it's something is it kind of like a fireflies kind of pendant yeah okay so let's put that away i was kind of hoping to find some ammo in here and I'm actually kind of scared that this is a lot bigger of a house than I thought it was going to be because... Okay, that you sound really close. Because there's a way higher chance of an infected being here and us finding that infected. Oh, they sound so close. They sound like they're literally right outside. Are they upstairs? I honestly have no clue, but I am walking around with my shotgun out because I am not taking any chances. And we are being very, very careful. Luckily, some more ammo over here. Don't really need the logs still. They are right out there. Okay, let's just grab what we need. I just feel like more of these videos are about me collecting stuff than actually um, advancing through the game. But I have actually looked. Okay, luckily the upstairs is, I guess, blocked off, so we don't have to go over there. I have looked... And we are about a third of the way through the game. So, another, what, maybe 10 videos and it will be over. I do actually want to try and make the videos actually an hour long like I wanted to originally. But I never had actually the chance or kind of the willpower because I always record really late. Luckily, today I'm recording at like 10 a.m. So, it's fine. Uh, but, yes, I wanted to make them an hour long. So, just uh, we'll get through the game quicker because I have like multiple other... Um, this is scary. Oh, why? Come on. Oh, why is Ellie shouting? Where is she? where is Ellie? I'm not sure. Oh, she's right here. Okay. Oh. There's a, another person coming from here. Come on. Reload. Reload. We, we wouldn't have reloaded in time. But that was really scary, but we managed to, to do it in time. So yes, I always wanted to make an hour long, but never had the chance. Hopefully this video will be now an hour long. I guess we will see how things go. And I also don't, don't want to kind of like start the next episode before or at the point where I know that uh, there's going to be like, you know, kind of like a new kind of objective for us to do. Like over here, uh, I mean, you know, we just got from a safe point, a safe space uh, with Bill over there. And now we are out just running around in the open. And I just felt like the natural place to kind of end the video. So I guess I kind of have to deal with that as well. Because, you know, I don't end it there. I have to keep on going for maybe another like 10, 20, 30 minutes. In order to kind of make like a natural end to the video in a safe place as well. But yes. 
enough talking about that. Let's actually focus on the game. And I think we have to leave, yeah, through that door that we just saw over here. Luckily, no infected behind. I guess we'll see in a second. Oh, and it's, of course, uh, oh, it's actually, okay, tied on the other side. Uh, through, oh, that um, doesn't sound like the best plan, but I guess we'll see what comes of it. Yeah, very careful. And actually, get let's get ready. Yeah, maybe. I guess sooner rather than later, she will end up with a gun. Okay, I see one for now. But Ellie did say clickers, not clicker, so... Oh, there's one right there, actually, so... Okay, do we do something that might be stupid or might not be stupid and... Uh, throw a brick out here so they all oh, actually there's two over here throw them out here to kind of lure them out into the open over here and maybe throw a Molotov cocktail at them set them on fire over there let them burn nicely and evenly the scariest thing is when they just randomly stop Kind of run away from the fire and sometimes don't run right at you that is quite scary and quite noisy as well okay so i see another one over there oh let's craft another one i think oh actually i can hit two more okay throw another one okay set both of them on fire that's good and also help that one walked right into it this, this actually might be a good way to kill them. Might be quite expensive with all of the materials we need to build the Molotov. Okay, they're right in the open. I wish the games would make it like more realistic so you can't just kind of chill out in the in the open. How far is it, Bill? Yeah, okay. We grab the battery, get the fuck out. I don't want to get trapped over there. Yeah, absolutely. But him saying that makes me think that he will get trapped over there. I guess we'll see, because this is of course nowhere near the same as well, I'm pretty sure it was Bill, right? In, in the second episode of the TV series. Okay, have a quick look around. Nothing upstairs, nothing in here. Nothing in here. Oh look, someone's playing computers over here. Quite a long time ago, though, as we are, I mean, like, over 20 years after the infection started. So, uh, nobody has been playing that computer for quite some time. It's actually a miracle that actually looks as good as it does. Okay, more explosives, I think. Okay, yes. I guess we are going on to that kind of treehouse over there. Hopefully... Okay. Well, that's not good. But I guess him knowing it means that he was he felt safe enough to maybe you know stay and not attack him, or maybe it was just like a lot of people coming through. I'm not really sure what's with the stutters. It's quite weird. Uh, definitely gonna need to like right reset the shaders for the next episode because it definitely should not be lagging. I've played. Uh, a couple of games before recording uh, and it always was was running well so it must be a problem with the game then with my can we kick the ball oh yes we can that's cool uh then can we pick it up no we can't that, that's a shame yeah more a problem with the game than for my computer i hope uh, yeah but definitely it, computer should be fine because it is a powerful beast of itself Oh, a free Molotov cocktail over there. That's nice. Uh, let's put it away, please, Joel. Let's not throw it down by accident and set ourselves on fire. I think, we're good. I think we are for now. Free shiv as well. Okay, this house is quite good, but that kind of means that some people have... I'm good. We're all fine. Let's just keep going. Uh, hand with this. Yeah, in a good... Someone was in a good spot over here that they had enough kind of materials to... Uh, kind of 
you know, have all of this with them. I'm really losing my train of thought. I'm just focused on collecting the materials and hoping I don't get jumped by anyone over there. We've got another note over here. Let's see what this is. Ooh, a whole a kind of two week span of, of stuff. It's actually about uh, someone in this room. So, yes, we do. Where is Ellie? Over here. What do you want? I just want to say I'm sorry. Okay. That's it. I won't bring it up again. Ellie, you don't need to worry about me. Yeah. Well, she definitely will a lot more afterwards. A couple more vitamins over here. And I think that's all uh, she wrote for the top of this house over here. Let's now go help Bill open that uh, garage door because I'm pretty sure he's just been chilling here waiting for the past um, minute or so so okay looks like we're out I see more clickers though which isn't good and the school's right aclo uh, across there okay hopefully the lagging doesn't really come through the, the recording but it's only for like a split moment so should be fine Okay, so yes, there's the school, there's the truck we need to get to, and there's about... Well, we actually can't hear them, I think we're too far away, but... Yeah, visually we can count at least four clickers, or infected, I guess. Which is a fair decent amount, this is actually quite a bad spot we're in over here, with this one. He's coming right over here, this is not what we need, hopefully he turns around so we can get up close to this wall and get some cover now there's two ways we could do this a way that's going to save ammo oh and a way that's not going to save ammo and with the kind of thing that this guy's going to see us in a second i think we're going to have to choose step two but hopefully not oh Hopefully this guy turns around. Oh, he's turning around. Oh, he's looking at us. This is about to get really dangerous really quickly over here in a second. These guys are so just random with their movements. You can't even kind of sneak up on them because you don't know what they are going to be doing in kind of like the split second. Oh, in that split second, you are going to try and move up on them. But we got this guy, which is good. And, oh, okay, keep keep calm now, you're dead. Uh, and I kind of doubt that these guys are going to be looking at the dead and, and thinking that, oh, someone's dead, so that means uh, we can, uh, well, that someone's around or something, because I'm, I doubt, I mean, you know, they've probably been around many dead as well, and I doubt they're actually even smart enough to even register that one of theirs has died. Okay, so there's, one, one right above, below us. So one, two, three, four, five. It's probably another six. I would make a run for it and see if I can just get across. But then if all of these guys come run and get us, you know, one by, uh, I mean, all at once, then we're going to be quite screwed uh, over there. It looks like, like someone made like a, bar like a barricade out of these bushes over here. Oh, that's not good. Fall down over here. Uh, yeah, so... This, this at one point must have been a fairly well defended town, but I guess now, you know, 20 years after the infection has started, I mean, you know, people, even if they are well armed, they are just going to make mistakes sooner or other, I mean, you know, eventually they are going to make mistakes and, I mean, you know, breathe in some spores or, as I said, make mistakes. You no know, other humans, that's probably just as dangerous as the infected themselves, uh, you know. The world is basically ending, and you're low on, low on materials and ammo and food and all of that stuff. So humans are probably just as dangerous in this kind of a a situation than the infected themselves. I actually don't have a brick or anything to throw, which is an oversight by me. Hopefully this guy comes closer though, because I actually want to start taking them out. Because if it takes, you know, a little bit longer, I think I'm literally just going to 
uh, to go for option two and oh no okay that guy's going a little bit too close to the rest of them I'm gonna go for option two and uh, rain fire on all of these guys which is going to take a lot of a lot of ammo it looks like they're just kind of wandering their own path which is I mean I don't know if they just are planned to do that or is that just randomly keep and going in the same direction I'm not really too sure now can we hide behind bushes yes we can oh please kill him quickly as quickly as possible I think we used a shift to do that but I mean I am not complaining because we are right in the open over there okay so we've got two there's at least another six to go and we've got one shift left let's actually oh let's see if we can create more we'll make as much as we can because they might come in useful let's get some more uh more of cocktails over here we actually upgrade our melee weapon but i mean sure it, ma it makes it so we can kill the infected in one hit but i mean it is eventually still going to like break right so I don't think I want to be wasting materials on that when we can put it into other stuff like actual good upgrades. Not really sure where that's coming from. Um, I wonder if we can drag these guys out uh, from over uh, under the cover. But I think we're going to go for this guy as soon as he turns around, which is now. Run up to him. Grab him. Shiv attack quick. There you go. Another one. I think that's going to be the best way to do it, I think. Just run up on them. Quickly take them out. Pretend we're in London and shank them. And then, um, <laughs> and then quickly get back into cover. We've got another kind of oversight now over here. We can go from the left. Not an oversight, just another kind of angle that we have on them. Uh, since we have killed this guy over here. Uh, okay, I'm seeing at, at least another three. I'm not sure why I can't hear them. That's kind of uh, scary. But we see another three. This person's coming right over here. How close are they going to get? Oh, a little bit too close. But I think we are far away enough that we can take them out without wasting the shiv. Now we actually got some more... Uh, ammo for that which is nice okay so i don't think we can jump across the barbed wires over there so i guess we kind of have to go around here do we have to go like around and get to them i'm not really too sure but i don't think there's any more I thought I thought I saw something flashing over here. I thought it was a brick that would have come in useful. Yeah, I think we have to go around here. So it looks like we've cleared out kind of like the first kind of area. So that's that's not good. That's not good at all. Yes, they are. I'm not really sure how they spotted me. Um, that is really bad though. I'm not really sure. Maybe they actually did spot. Well, that's quite a lot of them. Uh, I'm not sure if they spotted like Ellie or or Bill over there, and they and because of that they kind of st started running. But I mean, I definitely didn't get their um, attention. Nobody was looking at me, unless I actually messed up a Austin one in this kind of first area over here, or maybe that was just you know something that was going to happen eventually. Because I mean, right as we got around that bus, they uh, they ran at me. So maybe that was just going to happen anyways. But yeah, quite scary over there. But luckily, uh, I'm pretty sure we got back the same amount of ammo that we used up to kill all of them. Unless there was like some... No, there was nothing to step on over here. So I'm not really sure uh, what that was about. But... Uh, what ladder? Oh, over here. Okay. Yeah, luckily, we managed to get through. Luckily, we just ran away, stayed calm, and... Uh, got away from all of that, but that could have been quite bad if we didn't have enough ammo and we had to melee them, but we didn't, so we are we are good. And finally, after quite some time, we have cleared this area. 
And it's kind of like my worst part, you know, it's so loud with the ladder. Where's the ladder? Over here. It's so loud, you know, the ladder makes so much noise. Okay, yes we do, but just because we are here, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, stuff still can't get messed up. Just like that. Yep. Where are we going? Yep, okay, Bill, faster, please. Whatever you're doing. Oh, he's... He, okay, of course it is. Come on, Bill. Yes, we do. Now think of a way to get inside whilst I hold all of these guys off. As I don't have unlimited ammo. Oh, that's kind of like a... How do we get in? Okay, get in. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, we are in quite a tricky situation. We are in a school now, which is probably um Okay, yeah, the probably the sneakiest kind of um place to stay in Oh, they're coming right out over here in kind of like this kind of a situation, but okay, go for it, Bill. Where are we going because this isn't looking good at all? And, and we've got infected behind us. We've got infected in front of us. And there was no battery in the car, which Bill thought had the battery. So that means, you know, someone... Okay. Uh, must have been here recently in order to take the battery. So, uh, oh, wow, this is bad. So who took the battery is is the question. And I hope we're going this way. Because if we have to go upstairs, that is not going to be fun. And I think we do. So that is going to be great. Do we have Molotov cocktail? At least we do. Okay. Uh, hopefully they are still all bunched together. They are not. And we nearly got spotted. Um, this isn't going to be good. Not good at all. Oh, okay, that was quite something. I have no clue what to do. We have to go upstairs, I think. I don't see anything over there. Or do we? I don't know. I think it is blocked as well. I think we have to go upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. But we are literally surrounded by infected now, which is bad. And we are dangerously low on ammo. And... I mean, if we make this, we don't. We we can't go upstairs. Great. Actually, can we? Can we climb up here? Oh, please don't. Please don't go the other way. You heard something there. Please go there. Okay, good. We'll wait for everyone to get over there. They're all throw a couple of Molotovs over there. As many as we can. Can we climb out of here? No, we have to go over there. Yes, we're okay. Is there anything we can pick up? I mean, I kind of doubt that they are all burning, so anything that would have been there would have probably been burnt as well. Uh, okay, we have to go back through that classroom, but I'm just checking if there's anything to take over there. Oh, please don't, please don't. And stuff. I, have, I actually haven't used the nail bomb still, which I mean, I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but I'm going to probably want to keep that for a bigger space than this because we are all going to die if we use it now. Oh, a bat with some scissors attached to it. That could be useful. 
Oh, and this guy's about to see us, maybe. Oh, there's another person out in the corridor? How did they get over there? Well, I guess they must have gone through here, right? And, um, gone through. We are in a situation, a sticky situation. And just because we get out of here doesn't mean we are going to be safe because, I mean, someone took the battery. And, I mean, I don't think Infected or have any interest in in driving cars so a human must have done it but now would that human have good intentions or not is oh this is going to be bad is going to be the next form of question that we have to figure out and before we do that let's actually get out of here in the first place because we are running out of luck on taking out these infected and I am just lucky that we still have enough uh, shotgun ammo because if we didn't we would be uh, screwed quite some time ago. Like, can we create a shiv because, uh, not a shiv, a molotov though we can't so I mean that was our only solution out of getting out of here. Let's wait until they get closer so we can uh, one-shot them. Because we'll waste a little bit less ammo doing that. And I guess maybe burning them isn't the, the isn't the way to go. Because, uh, I mean, we run out of ammo. Um, then we won't be able to pick anything up when, uh, when it's all burnt. Help me open this. All right, ready? Which I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I thought this was going to be a cutscene. Uh, but it's not. Of course there is. Okay. No, it's not. Especially when they're coming in the other way. Oh, that's very, very not good. What's over there? Okay, even more. Sure, of course. Oh, and it's throwing spores at us. Okay. How does it even know that we're here? I'm not sure. Oh, this is absolute nightmare fuel. I just feel like I'm playing dead by uh, daylight now. I'm just running around. Come on, reload. Oh, it's running straight out. Please, Joel, run, 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 run. Yes, we do. Come on, it can't take too long. Oh, we've run out of... Uh, okay, we have some more. Reload, Joel. Oh, it can't run at us. That is going to be a very deadly run. No, two, please, two. Yes, we want to switch out this gun. Hunting rifle, quick. Oh, no, get out of that. Get out of that, get out of that. It's running at us, it's running at us. Luckily, can't really corner well, which is... A plus for us. I'm not really sure if we can take this guy out or if we have to somehow get across, but I'm going to try if it's going to cost me my my whole ammo. Can we just run past? Oh! Did we take it out? We did. Okay, that's good news. We can take it out. Um. Okay, let's just grab anything that's over here and Get out of here before anything else shows up. Yep. Okay, look at that. It must have been here for for years. I wouldn't be surprised if it's literally been here since the start of the infection. Look at all of this kind of like spores around the, the area. That is crazy and terrifying. But okay, I guess we took it out. It took, it took some shots from a pump shotgun and a hunting rifle, but... We took it out at the end. And I hope Bill doesn't find out. Oh, that's... Uh, can we jump up quickly, please? Jump up. No, we can't. Um, okay, they don't know where I am. They could take this chance to pull me up. Oh. Reload. Oh, I'm not going to reload in time. At least that was a one shot over there. Okay. 
run around. Okay, we're not gonna get anything from him. Let's get out of here and never look back. As I said, hopefully Bill doesn't find out about Ellie's bite marks. I'm not really sure what his reaction is going to be uh, like to that. Oh, luckily we picked up a lot of uh, pump shotgun ammo from that. So we are good. Uh, yep, Joel, please drop down and run like hell. Um, hopefully the game stops lagging again. There you go. It must be something to do with shaders because... Um, Come on, Ellie, hurry up. Take your time with the ladder, eh? It's not like there's infected chasing us or something. Okay, get up, Joel. Please climb the ladder. There's literally infected behind you and you're taking your time as if you're on holiday or something. Inside the house now. So that worked out well. Okay, uh... I'll go check out this side of the house. Bill? Somebody had the same idea they stole my shit. Well, then what the hell is plan B? You ought to be thankful you're still drawing breath. That was plan A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z. And furthermore, tell Tess that she could take Don't this you job. Don't you bring Tess into this. Right nothing to do with... Jesus. What, you know this guy or something? Frank. Who the hell's Frank? He was my partner. He's the only idiot that would wear a shirt like that. He's got bites. Here. And... Reckon he didn't want to turn, so he... Yeah, I guess not. Well, fuck him. Look what I found. It's got some juice in it. That's my battery. That fucking <laughs> asshole. Get out. Get out. Okay. Jeez. Battery's drained, but cells are alive. Meaning? Meaning we push it, get it started, and the alternator will recharge the battery. Is that your guess? Look, you wanted a plan B. This is as good as it gets. What are you thinking? Can you drive and we push? Okay, well, here comes plan B. Luckily, we got out of there. And we have quite a lot of shotgun ammo, which we are going to reload right now. And there's even more over here. So we are quite lucky that Frank left the world with quite a lot of useful stuff with him. And yep, that's what I am absolutely doing because... If there was that kind of ammo out there, then I wouldn't be surprised if there's even more in here. Well, actually, there isn't really too much around here, which is a shame. There's a letter to Bill, so if you want to read that, there you go. But I'm not going to be uh, taking time out to read that, because I kind of already know what the letter is about, to be perfectly honest. Um, okay, some more stuff over here. Actually, um, I thought there would be more ammo in here, but I guess not. So, I guess let's just go back in and uh, we are going to be pushing the vehicle now, which is going to be interesting. And I hope it works and hopefully there's no infected out there because, I mean, there was quite a lot, you know, just before. Yep. Hopefully Ellie knows what to do. Okay, I guess she knows. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, well, we didn't work for the first time. I guess we should have really kept on pushing for a little bit longer there. Um, 
Okay, no infected for now. This looks like the road opens up this way. Oh, why are we... We need to keep on pushing, Joel. Come on, the car's not going to roll itself. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Um. Oh. Yes, they are. And Bill, you're not really do helping much. Okay. Oh, I guess we are going to be punching them now. Or shift them. Oh, why is it not dead? How is it not dead? Oh, okay, we are in quite a situation here. Can I get a gun out? Okay, no, we just absolutely bodied that uh, that clicker over there. Yes, we do. Luckily, there's a downhill part over here. And this really isn't good. Come on, a little bit more. Yes, there is. I see. Okay. Oh, how is that guy taking so much? Oh, shots. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, okay. Click up. Should be dead. Come on, how are they literally bodying so many shotgun shells? I, I know we're not, we're not really that close to her, but still. And we need to really push this car quickly because, I mean, the entire town of Infected are going to be coming out here. And this isn't going to be good, especially when we are trying to punch them instead of shooting them. Get back, Joel, and shoot them, please. Oh, that's... That's not good. That's actually happened, I'm pretty sure, first time this game. So, I guess we died. But luckily I have it set so it takes us to the last spawn point. So, we haven't lost that much. You can actually set it so you have to restart the whole game when you die. Which I guess makes it more realistic in that kind of sense. Uh, but yeah, let's actually not just mess around with them and uh, actually just let go before before they get too close. Because uh, I don't want to die again. And maybe we literally do just have to wait when they get up right up close to us uh, to shoot. And maybe that's like the least amount of ammo wasting uh, possible. Because yeah, when we shoot them when they're right up close, they... Come on. Oh, that guy's pretty much dead. Come on. Uh, yeah, when they're right up close, they basically die instantly if we get a headshot on them. Oh, we are right at the hill. Come on, Ellie. Please, car. Come on, car. Please, please, please. Because we are running out of ammo. Come on, run, run, Joel. This is a time to stop. Oh. Okay, let's... Oh, that's not good at all. How do we get on the truck, though? We... Oh, we are absolutely dying over here, aren't we? I think it would be time to use that uh, bomb stuff. Six. Please work. Okay, it worked. It didn't take all of them out. There's more running, though. Oh, someone's dead over there, which isn't good. Um, who is it? Oh, it's, it's Ellie. Get in the car. <laughs> Get in the car. We are... Running circles. Please, get in the car. There we go, finally cutscene. Alright, this'll do! Stop! Just keep it running, alright? That girl nearly got us killed. You gotta admit, she did hold her own back there. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. Oh, oh. Uh, here. What's this? You'd be amazed at how many cars still got gas in them. Appreciate it. Look, Bill, uh, about your buddy back there, uh, that's a tough deal. No, I'm, uh... We square. We're square. And get the fuck out of my town.
happened to sleep in? <sighs> okay. I know it doesn't look like it, but this here is not a bad read. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. <sighs> I hate cliffhangers. Where did you get that? Uh, back at Bill's. I mean, all this stuff was just lying there. <sighs> what else did you get? Well... Here. This make you all nostalgic? You know, that is actually before my time. <laughs> that is winter, though. Oh, man. Well, better than nothing. Oh! I'm sure your friend will be missing this tonight. Mm -hmm. Light on the reading, but it's got some interesting photos. Now, now Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! How... how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. Well, hold Just... your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh. Why are these all stuck together? Um... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Bye-bye, dude! You know what? This isn't that bad. Why don't you try to get some sleep? Right. I'm not even tired. Shit. Are we gonna help him? Put your seatbelt on, Ellie. Well, wh what about the guy? He ain't even hurt. Then get out, quick. Come here, ah. shit. Follow me, you chicken shit. Go. Okay, well, it's time to defend ourselves as... Uh, I kind of knew we had to go through the town. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And well, I guess we're still in a cutscene, but... Oh, well, we don't have our guns for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Maybe they're in the back of the car or something, but... Well, that guy's not going to be... Uh, doing anything to us anymore. And yes, we are. Okay. Oh, that's not good at all. Luckily we do have our goods now. There's quite a lot of people though and I thought about ending the video here, but I guess uh, Can't really do that where the, uh, there's still people around. There's some, uh, looks like someone's going to try and get around here. Actually, we can move up here, which is good. Oh, someone's right over there. Oh Go on. There we go. Okay, we got him We injured him. Reload quick, please. Joel, quick up. Oh, that hurt. Okay, we had to move in close. Come on, crouch down. No, Joel, down, please. Thank you. We are run low on ammo. We have to get another couple headshots. Okay, there's another person over here. Oh, that hurt. That didn't, though, because he missed. Come on, take him out. 
Is he dead? He's down at least, which is good. There we go. One more shot. That's it, I don't have any more ammo. Unless there's some in here. And there is, which is good for us. Hopefully not too many of them left though. Come on. We're in a standoff with this guy. There you go. Is that all of them? I don't know, but I am not liking that we don't have too much ammo on anything. I think that's the last of them. Okay? okay, of course. The highway was blocked, so we had to take make a diversion through the town. And of course, as I said uh, before, not everyone is is eager to help others. And as I said, other humans are just as dangerous, if not even more dangerous, than than the infected because well they are definitely highly more intelligent than the infected but as i said at the start of the video there is sometimes a natural place to end the video and this would be it so uh, here we are ending off in the town i'm not really sure where this is so P pittsburgh is still like another 242 miles or at least the last time uh, we saw it so uh, we are still quite far away does it really say where we are it would be nice to kind of know where we are. I'm pretty sure um, it does say where we are. But, yes, as I said, natural place to end the video. This would be it. Hopefully, not a lot of infected in this town since there are, there's a lot of human activity around here. But I guess all that to come next week in the next episode. So, so for now, that is good. So if you guys enjoyed, like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.